It's the World Stop Podcast, bitch. We back again with another one. It's your boy King Anderson. You know what I'm talking about? It's Royal Boy Production, Royal Boy Music Group. Us, we. I got a special guest in the building today, man. I'm going to let him introduce himself. What's up, man? My boy, it's your boy Jay Wizzle, man. I'm from Chicago, Southside to be specific. And man, I'm, I've been doing music for years, man. So I'm just trying to be in tune with it, man. Stay in tune with it, bro. I'm about to get, get it busting. The right the way. way. The right way. way. It's the right way. All right, bro. We're going to start this shit off, bro. I heard you say you're from Chicago. You're from the South Side. Exactly where on the South Side is you from? The Roseland area. I'm from the Roseland area over there. I'm the 15th of Eppleston to be Pacific. That's where I usually be at over there. So that's the Wild Hunters, huh? Yeah, the Wild Hunters where I used to I used to be at. I be over there. There's most a lot of shit going on over there, so you gotta be really smooth. You can't right. on no goofy right. shit over there. You gotta really be right on the lookout. Cause most so, 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 how growing up in Roseland in the Wild Hunters that I know it as, how growing up, how did that affect you? Shit, bro, it, it made me actually understand that you gotta, everywhere you go, it's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've seen a lot of places, I've been in a lot of places, you know, and uh, just seeing the same shit in every city is the same. Chicago, LA, right. you name it, New York. It's the same shit going on. Everybody's still in competition with this person. Right. Everybody with this. So I learned that everybody in competition with about something. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I learned that shit going on there. Well, you gotta just stay positive, bro, and stay in the right mindset, and just be, be, you know, stay to yourself. Be on the move. Like don't be right. just in one place too right. too long, cause shit really pop off when you're just in one place too long. So right. Other than that, bro, I just learned just to be to yourself and just just stay positive, bro. Cause right. Being negative, so, wrong. You know? So, so what got you? What influenced you to do music? Who was some of your biggest influence as far as like music and artists growing up and being from Chicago? What made you want to do music? Sure. What made me want to do music is just actually listen to certain, excuse me, listen to certain music like like the uh, Tupac or the Easy E or Snoop Dogg. You know, uh, all those old rappers that were back then popping, they motivated me as far as like uh, the songs they came up with. The motivation right. and the inspiration of the songs that I heard, it was uh, something that I can relate to. Something right. that I can actually, you know, uh, see myself seeing when they rapping it. Like they saying detail, detail to detail, I'm seeing what they saying and it's right. happening in front of me. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm just like them in a way because they came right. from where I came from. So right. I know exactly so what they're relate. talking about. So I can relate to it right. all, all the way. So right. just making music actually is like a, it's a, um, a, um, like a way out. A way album. out. And it's like almost like, a, it's like a therapy type of, type of right. thing. Like you can, sure. you can get your feelings uh, off on the track without going to go kill somebody or go on right. and hurt Real somebody. Shit. You get your music, get your mind off of, what's really going on out in the real and just put it out on the track. And, right. You know, that's pretty much it, bro, because, you know, there's a lot of shit that you that you go through deep inside that might people that might not understand or know. So right. you just say it on the track and it, it come to life, you know, like right. that at times. So, yeah. So, much. my next question is, who is one of your favorite artists? Like, who who inspired you as a, like, as an artist? And who is your favorite? Like, who you like the, who, who what's your best artist that do music? Shit, uh, right now? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, growing up, right now? Uh, shit, um, growing up, uh, growing up, it was, um, at one point in time, it was 50 Cent, and then at one point in time, it was Lil Wayne. For sure. I, I mean, I, li I like to say, um... Who I, had the biggest influence on you as an the artist? The biggest influence? That's kind of hard to say, because... Because uh, I'm not like I'm not like nobody right now. Like I, like I don't act like nobody or uh, sound like nobody. I did. Do, right. I don't do nothing like nobody. I, I be me. So I, I wouldn't say because you know if you influenced by them or if you if you were um, listen to their music, you kind of would have certain right ways of of, right. of, of them growing. You know what I'm saying? Now. All right. Uh, for sure. But uh, other than that, though, um, I, I'll say maybe um, a pimp C type of rapper. Right. Pimp C was was a big big influence. Right. 
how he uh, was, was speaking the truth and how he was stating how people was, you know, rapping about this and that instead of rapping about the ugly side of things and right. you know, shit like that. So, but other than that, though, shit, bro, uh, Pimp C, Lil Wayne, motherfucking Drake right now, he buzz, he popping. I've been knowing Drake before he even started, like, not knowing, but, you know, like, knowing his, right. knowing him as a as a person, as right. an artist growing right. up. I'm watching him on um, you know, TV and shit. Grassy and shit. Grassy and shit. So that's nah, for sure. that's like one of the reasons, you know, too, that uh motherfuckers fuck with him too. On that part. So how long you been doing music? Shit, I've been doing music for like I wanna say about eight, nine years about now. Sure. But taking it serious wise, I say maybe four, three years. For because sure. you know, you just start rapping, you just rap you just rapping. You right. know what I'm saying? You don't, you just start off, you just rapping. But you right. don't take it serious until you just like motherfuckers start telling you like, bro, you actually good, bro. Right. Like, you actually real shit. You actually can do it. Just keep going, and then you start taking it serious because you hear motherfuckers telling you you good or telling motherfuckers that you inspire them to want to be better or want to change how they living or whatever the case might right. be. Right. But other than that, though, G, that's pretty much it, bro. Facts. Well, I know, I know, I know a little bit about you, man. I know you rock with a team already and shit, like. As far as I know what you got going on with Royal Boy, I know you rock with a team and that's who you really came in this shit with, like have been rocking with as far as like doing music and starting off. I heard what what's the name of y'all 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 team y'all got back in Chicago? Um it's um um my uh it's LA Pride's music group. For LA sure. Pride's um and you know I've been rocking with them bro since I was in since I was in grammar school, bro, it's right. been it's been so long. It's really family, right? It's family, bro. It's my that's family, family, like that's cousin type, right? Type shit, like right. I know him when I was a baby, bro. Right. Type shit, right? And right. I was like, we still here with it, and we still working. Like when I was thirteen, I met I met him like with the music on the music part, like trying right. to get better at the music. That's when I first sat down with him and talked to him about the music and shit. But we got a whole team. On. You know, with, so uh, who all on the team with uh, LA LA Pride? Shit, bro, you got a lot of motherfuckers that's on the team, bro. I mean, you got Dada, you got motherfucking uh, um, uh, Major Ways, you got motherfucking you got Major Ways, Child Major Ways, you got motherfucking uh, uh, Phantom, you got motherfucking. Uh, there's so many motherfuckers, but it's, it's same time. It's like I'm the only one that's still like going, you know, like right. pushing this shit, like really right. actually doing some shit to make this shit pop off, because it'll take one person to to just to get somebody, you know, just to get a right. name for himself right. and take, take, the whole take, take the whole team, and that's the type of nigga I am, like, I ain't leave nobody behind, bro, because it's a team effort. Right. Without, without, because behind the, behind the camera doing what he doing, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing in front of the camera. Right. As that far as, real you know, shit. making, you know, making songs and, and uh, figure out how to how, how I'm gonna do the video and right. the location and driving and like I don't do I can't do all that shit. I'm just a artist. I can only right. make the music. Right. Other than that, a team is what makes you what you are. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. I, I can't be who I am without my team. So exactly. with that being said, bro, my team it goes off to my team and then me because they make me who I am, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit, bro. That's, for That's real. real shit, bro. So what's your artist name? To be exact. To be exact, my artist name is Jay Wizzle. And what that mean? How you get Jay Wizzle? Well, bro, growing up, <clears throat> my auntie, uh, she used to call me Wizzle or Jay Wizzle for Shizzle or some like some some little shit. Then my cousin would be like Wizzle or Juan right. or whatever, and I <coughs> I stuck with Wizzle. Right. I was gonna have Juan, but. It's too many like wines out here. It's not really too many whistles that I know. Right. That's you know what I'm saying. But whistles is, is, is just stuck on me. Like that's actually that's actually good for marketing because you know you got Snoop Dogg. He say everything for shizzle and nizzle, whistle mm -hmm. all that shit. So it actually tie in. You know what I'm saying to the market and yeah, the industry. Man. And you know, bro, uh, my boy King Anderson, man, he done taught me a lot about about uh, the marketing and. What goes into this shit? This shit is just, just more than just about just rapping, bro. It's, it's more. Sure. It's more than just about that. It took me a while to actually understand that. To actually understand, like you gotta put more than just your words on the track and sure. and and that's it. You gotta put the footwork in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You gotta actually connect with with your other artists or your other you know. 
person right. that you're working with. You know what I'm saying? You got to network, basically. Right. That's the important. You got to network. And I got sure. from King Anderson and my and Mike Check, which is like my manager slash label um, exec. So, you know, he he taught me some shit, too, behind the, the, uh, the editing and right. mastering and and the shooting the videos and everything, right. bro. It's just a lot that goes in with this shit. Right. So thanks to them, bro. I, I know I know some shit about about this shit. Real shit, man. That's real shit, though, bro. So with that being said, I know you got a couple projects that's out there on the major platforms on iTunes, Spotify. You distribute your music independently. I know that for sure. So do you got any up and coming projects that you're working on right now, or any type of singles that you're about to drop coming soon? Oh shit, bro. Um, I got a lot of songs, bro. I got a couple songs, man. I got a song with my boy, man. It's called um, Against the Grain. That motherfucker hot. I'm on the hook. He on the verse. And, bro, that motherfucker go crazy. And see, I'm the type of artist, bro, where if the song good without me on the verse, then I'm not going to be on the verse because that's how it's going to be. The song sounds good. Gonna make a record. That's going to make a record already hot. Right. Now, I'm, me, I'm, I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a person that listens to music. I'm a, I'm a music uh, enthusiastic. Like, I listen to music all the time, and I just right. know what a hit is. And I just know, like, if, I, if I'm belong on the hook, on the verse, or the hook, then I don't need to be on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be on that song at all. Nah, for sure. Other than that, though, bro, I got um, that song. I got a motherfucking song called um, "Feel the Same." I got a motherfucking song called um, 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 "Broken." Broken. And where can they go uh, get all that shit at? Shit, bro, you can go on um, iTunes. iTunes, motherfucking uh, Spotify. Spotify. You can go to Apple Music. Apple Music. You can go all that, bro. Facebook, all that shit, bro. Snapchat, Snapchat, TikTok, TikTok, all that, bro. You can go everywhere, bro, to find my music, bro. And you what know? do they search? I'm searching Jay Wizzle, J W I Z L E, Jay Wizzle. That way. With that, that way. being said, we gonna wrap this bitch up. You already know it's your boy King Anderson behind the camera. Shout out my boy Jay Wizzle. We gonna tune back in with this bitch. Make sure you book the next session.